Welcome to Table Talk with Nikki G and Juliet, where we bring to you highlights of entrepreneurs, leaders, organizations, and much more. A broad spectrum of professionals, including chefs, artists, designers, musicians, and more. I feel so blessed today. I don't want to live like yesterday. So please don't stop my voice. Our show is a new brand of talk shows where we educate, bring transparency, and last but not least, fun. Table talk. Table talk. Table talk. If I tell you, say I love you, oh. My money, my body, now your own, oh baby. Get ready for our first show. A roller coaster of emotions, all wrapped into one. Caribbean style. With this British Jamaican and a Trini. Look in the mirror, say yes, I'm the best, 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 best. We'll cover our historical roots as well. So keep it locked. This is Nikki G. And this is Juliet. Welcome to Table Talk. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and iTunes. Come to my blessings, blessings, yeah. Can you bless me? No one could take this, take this away. Table Talk. Table Talk. Welcome to Table Talk with Nikki G and Juliet. We are in the studio with Fojo. This is Fojo's hey, studio. Hey, no, F to the O to the J to the O, man. <laughs> it's a pleasure being here with you guys. Yes. It's our pleasure as well. Yeah, definitely. And as promised, we are actually going to do a quick taste testing before we introduce our guest and interview our guest, I should say. Um, so let's just say without further ado, we're gonna start off with Neil's Sweet and Nice Ice Cream. And the flavor I'm going to eat is the guava passion fruit. And banana. banana and chocolate. chocolate. Banana and chocolate. And Nikki has- Mine is mango and what's this, mango? Just mango. Oh, mango. Mm. So they say it in a different language, I, I guess. guess so. Okay. French. French? <laughs> <laughs> So, me and Nikki are going to do some taste testing. Mind you, somebody <laughs> had a little taste before me. <laughs> I can't take it no more. There's something I have to do, and I've got to leave Nikki out of it. Guys, listen, listen. I got Neil's sweet and nice ice cream. Thanks. And I have to taste it. She said, wait for me, because we're doing a taste testing on Saturday. But I can't. I can't. <laughs> sorry, Nikki, sorry. Hey, how do you open this? Oh, with the blue tab at the bottom? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Oh. Easy does it. <laughs> Just mm. leave it sweet and nice. You yeah. want to try it? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not an ice cream buff. Not everyone is. is. And that's that's okay because it's more for us to taste and more for us to. And it's all natural. It's all natural ingredients, just like our parents used to make back in the day mm. when they used to churn it. And it's nice and creamy. Yeah, you can taste good. the passion fruit. And you're tasting the mango. Yeah, really? Oh, the mango is unbelievable. Mm. Guys, I'm going to go closer so you can see. <laughs> see the, the name label. Of it. Mm. And we're going to have the label flashing across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> that would be better. Just, oh my God. So good. I'm, I've got cones, so maybe we'll, we'll do put it on the ice cream cone later. We do a treat later and, and share it with you guys again, show you how you, you can eat this ice cream besides in the tub. Mm, but it, trust me, it's delicious. What was the website again? Was it uh, Sweet and Nice? Ne Neil's Sweet and Nice Ice Cream dot com. And then on Instagram, it was Sweet and Nice Ice Cream. So um, we'll we'll definitely flash the, the information for you down below. I'm buying time to eat some more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we have to get back to the show. <laughs> yes. So we're here with Pojo today. Yay! Who is he? Is a, a well-rounded businessman, I must say. Yeah. 
he does music. He does. He's a promoter as well. Yep. Do you produce? Because I see you yes, have a studio. You yes, produce. Okay. And then he has a show coming up. So we're going to ask him a few questions so you'll get to know him better and um, see what he has going on. And towards the end, we'll definitely be um, playing some of his tunes and some of his latest that is coming out. Um, yeah, we got some big things coming going on. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And he has some live performances too. So we'll interject some of those. You'll see some up next and so forth, besides hearing his mix at the end. Okay. okay. All right. So without further ado, hey, <laughs> welcome, Fodo. Yay. Like I said before, it's a pleasure being here. You know, you guys having me on your show, you know, it's well appreciated. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a pleasure having you. Wow. So, Fodo, um, your name is very interesting. We, we've had other people where we ask them, where did you get your name from? How yeah. did you come about getting that name? Well, my name started in Indiana, where I'm from. It was in my own tongue. You know, they used to call me like um, Fuji Eye because one of my eyes is big and one is smaller. Fuji Eye? Yes, oh, okay. Fuji Eye. <laughs> so, the kids in the street, you know, growing up, everyone is like, Fuji Eye, Fuji Eye. But then um, when I moved to Trinidad, I heard about the Fujis. Oh, yes. Mm. One of my favorites. Right? You know, so I, I heard about them. And then I said, no, I can't use that same name. Exactly. So I'm going to change it to Fujo. And I stuck with that until this day. And I'm going to move with it. Okay. So see how things happen? Nickname turns. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I've had nicknames in my life. Some of them I didn't want to stick. So, <laughs> well, my biggest question is um, okay, so radio station, producer, promoter, family man. Yes. Um, how one. do you do it all? Because he's well rounded, guys. Well, the most important thing, it comes to my kids. You know, most of my time is spent with them. I have a day job also. You know, I'm still into the promotion. Right. Yes, I, I also have things going on in there. Now. You know, so I just keep, keep the focus. I'm putting the forward first towards everything I do. You know, he is my motivation. I'm making things happen for my kids so that in the long run, they may not have to be living the life that I used to live. Right. You know, wanting for things in there. It's not here. So I do whatever I do, make the sacrifice so that I can provide for my kids. Yes. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. So then that must mean that obviously COVID hit. Yes. And that kind of ceased a lot of things. So what did you do more? Like yes, it did. Um, what, what I can actually tell you is that, that um, some people cry out for the COVID, but COVID was a, a kind of blessing towards me. You know, because things that I I couldn't do, you know, because of the COVID, you can't go anywhere. Yeah, so yeah. Know, yeah. Everybody became more digital. Yes. Yeah. You know, so I get more time to myself and my family, you know, and I get to produce more, do more music. I, I had the radio station up, you know, but at the same time, sometimes you go into things and you're not sure what tomorrow is going to be. Right. Before, True. You know, so what I end up doing, is what I love doing best, which is music. So mm. I transform it back into the recording studio. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what's up. Cool, yeah. was good. It's good. It's still, it's still going it's still strong. Going. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. still going. It's, um, it's not good in, in the sense of knowing that so many lives yeah. had lost. lost. You know, but, but for me, I can actually say that Glory be to God that you know I'm still here yeah. for those who have passed and gone. Rest in peace, you know. But we're here. We're here. We're still doing it. Yeah. So you you mentioned you know your personal being your family and, and that's what you do, why you do everything that you do, right? But take us back to the beginning where okay you got your name. Yes. But how did you start in the music industry, singing and you know now? you're doing production. So how did you go from music to production 
is that some people would say, okay, music is my first love. Now production, I found my real niche, you know, because you do so many things. Just tell us your story in a summary from when you started to now. Well, my music career started actually in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, really? Right. And I was, um, I don't know if you know about the Kiss Kitty Caravan. Yes. Right, yes. so it was way back in the yes. days. I think it's like about what twenty something years now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm just revealing age and everything, but yeah, we don't I'm have anything to hide. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm proud of my age. Yes, yes. Know, yes. Because I'll, a lot of people didn't live to see my age. Yes, so that's I'm true. Thankful. You know, so it started out in Kiskadi Caravan, whereby there was a general grant, the Ajala, the Aya George, the, you name them all. Yeah. Right, Marshall or whatever. Just to interject, not yes. cutting you off, but we just interviewed General Grant. Yes. Yeah. yes. And yes. we just want people to know the history of it and how far everyone's coming from yeah. as far as General Grant and Pooja. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, General Grant is a good friend of mine until this day, you know, we always hold that friendship. Very nice. Right. But um I started out there and from there I was doing like background vocals to Marshall Montana. Oh, you know, I was hanging out with the bungees. You just call the name out. You know, okay. Fujo was there. Okay. Even before Kesta and the singer, we all would be in a, a room, just vibes in. Yeah. Music, 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 singing with each other, and all these kind of things, you know. So, which means, just to, to put a, a, a pin there, which means you moved from Guyana to Trinidad? Yes, or you? Yes, okay. Yes. All right. You lived there for some time. I, I lived in Trinidad over 20 something years. Mm. Yes. You know, I, I know more about. Trinidad than I know yeah. about Guyana. Okay. Right. Yes. You know, so with all of this now, um, I was approached by Ricky and Mama, mm. you know, to like sign me over and have my career open. Okay. And I think it was around uh, 1999, I had a song, Entertain a Struggle, you know, and that song is what actually kicked it off for me. And make me start traveling to Canada, Antigua, Grenada. You know, that was a big break. Yes, that was a big break. And I, I must also say thanks to Ajala, mm. you know, for believing in me and pushing me, yeah. even when I I was like shy to go on stage, <laughs> you know. But Ajala have that force, that energy. Yeah. He always give you, he gives you the courage, okay. you know, and show you that you can do it too. You know, so I have to say thank you to him. Man. What was the tip that he gave you? in order to go on the stage. Some people would probably focus on something that's further yes. and not look at the crowd. Or, or take a shot. Or take a <laughs> shot. Or, you know, other you little things. The funny thing is do? that even till this day, even before I go on stage, I still get a stage fright. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, I still get a stage fright. But from the time I walk on that stage and I start singing, it's like... You become a different yes, person. it's gone. Just, just to see how people would interact. Yeah, you know, to yeah. my voice and to my music, yeah. you know. But um, Ajala told me one thing one time. He said, hey, Rafi, you wouldn't be the first, mm. and you're definitely not the last. Exactly. You yeah. understand me? He said, when you grow up on stage, you just be you. You understand? Put everything else aside. Yeah. And just focus on pleasing the people in front of you. And then, first, I tried it. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. But then I was in, um, I think it was in Calgary. And Leon Caldero, an ex friend of mine. I know he, him. Yes. Yeah. Right? He go up on stage and they, it was like me, Preston, Ajala, all of us. And just from feeding off of his energy, mm. you know, from there I say, okay, I start getting comfortable. Yes. So the, it was a long run, but I'm thankful. Yeah, and the experiences. I mean, yeah. everyone has experiences where, you know, as you say, in order to get into your comfort zone, in order to teach you certain things, mannerisms, how to go on stage, how to, yes. to interact with different people, what yeah. type of music you yeah. like, yeah. you know, stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Um, I, um, I went to Canada when I leave Canada come back to Trinidad, when I reached back in Trinidad, one of my uncle was visiting from Guyana, and he saw me working out of a studio, I think it was like a, 
what if you are talent and what you have to offer, we need this in the end. So for me, how I was doing my music at that time, it wasn't how Guyanese producers and artists was doing their music. Yeah. Because even be before T Pin start using auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking about long before TP started yeah. to, I was using other tunes. Oh. Yes. No, so it's way back then. And when I, the, the, the first thing I decided, you know what, I'm going to go and make a try because you, you actually wasn't hearing anything out of there. Mm -hmm. Guys, I love simple bad, bad, bad. But for me, it's hard for me to perform. It is. You have yes. to have that. Yes, you have, you to have, have that, that stamina energy. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some dancing. You have or to some want jumping. to know. You have to jump up and. Oh. I, I, I'm always laid back. Mm. You know, I would sing the songs and I would put it out there, but I, <laughs> I never perform. So you, if you do have to sing soca, then because I see you sang one song that we listened to, Raman Soca with Patra. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that. Yes, no. It's melodic and it's, you know, yeah. I don't know if you performed it with him on stage. But... I have never performed that song. No. no. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. It's, it's very nice. The song is like, yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely make sure you hear that. But actually, for me, it's like, ask me to. Did you? <laughs> you know, I just want to go on stage, walk, and try to serenade the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's my kind of thing. Yes. Yeah, because I, I heard New Girl. New gal, yes, yes. I say gal like I never say it in Trinidad. Yes. New gal. Yes, that, um, that's one with me and CJ also from Yeah. Very talented artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I heard that one. And um, the Facebook one that you sang, Facebook stress, is that something that you went through? Yes. Or? Yes, it, it, it was very, um, it was a kind of vibes whereby, you know, you at home, you're living with somebody, they're actually trying to make Facebook an issue. Mm. You know, sometimes not everything on social media you take mm. serious. True. Yeah. Some people do. I have high flaws with social media too because if you if you give in to it, you'll get carried away. Yeah, it's gonna take over your whole. You know. Yeah. And the individual that I was living with was getting carried away. Mm. You know, but it's social media. What can I do? <laughs> you know, I mean, Facebook just have to change up again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say, I would say, because people are not used to social media when it first started, yes. and even now, because you look at it and you see girls shaking their ass mm -hmm. and, and all these things, and then guys, you be seeing likes, likes, likes loves, likes, this, yes. that. Yeah. What I try to do because I don't know if the other person's looking. So people love giving love and hearts and kisses, mm -hmm. and I know you're married. Yeah, so right. I don't send a, a, a heart. Yeah, I'll yeah. be like, yeah, man, nice, thank nice, you. So nice, I kind of generalize it. Yeah. It's how you take it to you. Right? That's true. Yeah, because that's true. there's a lot of times I'm just scrolling on my phone. Yeah. You know, it might be people I know, people I don't yeah. know, but I, I click, I click, I click. Yeah, See, I'm true. like that too. Sometimes I, I don't hard. even look. <laughs> you and just, you just click. <laughs> I just click. And then you're like, what are you doing on your phone? Yeah, exactly. Why are you like, what's she doing? But I don't study it because I know it's social media. Yeah. And social media is going to be social media. That's yeah. true. You cannot change it. That's so true. true. So don't, true. Don't, uh, I wouldn't say I, I don't have my differences when it comes to social media. I do. You understand? But then I think back, hey, you sing a song, so why are you getting angry? Yeah. <laughs> you understand? It's life, man. What goes wrong comes right back around, right? That's true. That's true. Life. That's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. But don't give in to the people. Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't take it so seriously. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you're going, especially when you're going out with someone that's out there, celebrity wise, you're going to get hit with so many negative yeah. as well as positive. Yeah. And sometimes one can outweigh the other and you just got to go with the flow. If, you, if you're not that type of person, then it's, it's it really isn't it's something. Not for you. Yeah. 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 Let's you buy a Nokia. You know the old time Nokia. <laughs> yeah. 
Guys, Nokia, I don't know if you know Nokia, but Nokia is nothing like these smartphones. <laughs> yeah. And all you have is a screen, yeah. you have your buttons. Screen, screen. But you know the funny thing is I had BBM back mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. But BBM people can add you. That's the one phone I love. The other people had the chirp and all this stuff. So yeah. but the BBM, you can have the, the train, you don't know who's following you. Yeah. The, the, all you need is a number. But yeah. those yeah. phones was like so I, to go back to that, it uh, will no. be so weird. Uh, because uh, every day that goes by, the world gets more advanced. True. Yeah. You know, so with it fast now, it's like the kids. The kids are better with the phones than us because the phones, this is what is in their timing. Yes. Yeah. So true. Yes. So true. In our timing, it was something totally different. Yeah. You know, but from the time you see social media, and I, I thought, even to my 12 year old, I might not know to do certain things on this Yeah, and they'll thing. teach you how that's to do it. Yeah, that's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, and they thanks. do it real quick. Yes, yes. one, two, three. And YouTube also, it has everything there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whatever you want to learn, whatever you want to know. Yeah, it's there. YouTube has everything there. So they pay more attention to YouTube to that, and yeah. go and learn everything. Yeah. yeah. I, I tend to do, I mean, I've always been that person. Like if I get, let's say, a computer, I'd read the whole thing yes. before I start. And I think it's because, you know how you usually say, the way how your parents is, you want to be more advanced. You want to mm -hmm. be a little better. Mm -hmm. So I kind of took that and and decided, you know what, I have to keep up with technology, even with my kids, mm -hmm. you know, try to know. They show me stuff, yeah. but I still, even um, the short languages and stuff that they use, I still try to learn these acronyms yeah. because you can get lost in the shuffle. People would put, um like tgif ikr this and the other i'm like what are you saying i just about <laughs> learned lol <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you used the one this one the other day and i had to look it up and it was a kiss of my teeth i was like that one i didn't know <laughs> i was S like what So it's it's singing and production, yes. both yes. even yes. evenly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, then um, tell our viewers like some of the, the projects that is coming out now, your latest projects, and and because I know some good things are coming out. Right now, my focus is working on a song for piano, a unity song, because I think we as guys artists being rich nowhere in the music industry, yeah. right? And for some reason, it's like every day we fight amongst each other. You know, we, we, we and it should not be, I could understand if we have a, 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 a general of music, yeah. you know, but we don't. Yeah. We're taking a little bit from everybody, yeah. right? But still we are fighting down each other. You know, we are fighting on each other for something that is not even ours, you know. So right now I'm trying to do a song whereby I'm trying to explain to them that, you know what, if we all put our heads together, mm -hmm. we can make it. It, it. it don't have to be me. It don't even have to be you. Mm -hmm. But it could be somebody from the dining circle. Right, right. It just takes one. Yeah, yeah that's true. So true. You know, we have a few people who is out there, but they're not um, to see representing Guyana. Mm -hmm. 
you know, they're guys, mm -hmm. but they don't represent Guyana. Right. You know, so when I go out there, anywhere I go, you no know, don't matter which part of the world, I represent Guyana to the fullest. Mm -hmm. You understand? So yeah. we're trying to do a song right now. Me, myself, um, and like about 14 other artists mm -hmm. doing one song. It's kind of like the We Are The World. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking that. That. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's my main focus right now. But also I'm working with a few other like younger artists from not only Guyana. Like just before you guys came, mm -hmm. there, there was Postman here. Oh, okay. You know, so yeah. I'm doing something with him. I'm doing something with Garvin from Impact Band. Mm -hmm. Yes, they gave us. Oh, nice. Garvin has some crazy music right now. Yeah, and we're seeing some as, as we're seeing in the background, um, Gary G as well yes, as some yes. other artists that he's worked with. Yes. Yeah. You know, and it's like my thing is not even about me. Mm -hmm. It's about the, the youth. Yeah, coming up. You know, because I reach a, a certain age whereby if I don't come with a hit song, the song has to be a real big hit. Yeah. Right. For a record label to say, you know what, let's sign this guy. Yeah. My age is past signing, but you're never too old for anything. Oh, me and you. No disturbance. The yeah, one well, no signal. So make me turn off the phone so he can be alone. Girl, this night was made for you and me. So let's take advantage and teach. See no one's around. So we can put ourselves on the ground. I want to go far away. Far away. Let's build a new place. Sorry about that, yeah, because yeah, it's connected yeah. to my computer as well. Yeah, so yeah. that's my main focus right now on making things happen for them because, like I was saying, record labels, mm -hmm. right? After you're like age 23, they, they, they don't really actually want to sign. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, wow. from age 15 to like 23, 20, 25, you're good. Wow. Unless you're an older person with a song that actually making sense mm -hmm. that they know once they put their money behind that, yeah. they so, could eat from it and yeah. they could eat also, mm -hmm. they're gonna work with it. So that as you said that, is it more because I, I looked I looked at it um the age thing more in the hip hop R and B sector mm -hmm. where everybody's young. Mm -hmm. So in the soca sector is basically the same thing or it's a um, little um, bit different. It's a little bit different with the soca. Yeah. You know, soca, um, say for instance, look, look, look like um God rest the soul it be shadow. Yeah, mm -hmm. the mighty shadow, yeah. Shadow, when shadow wins soca more that can take away road march and everything. That song, right? But at this age. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's totally different, likewise yeah. for reggae. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so we love, we love our it's own mostly days. in the R and B hip hop world, like you see, yeah. but reggae and so play something totally mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. It know? is. Yeah. But so I just lost my train of thought by doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, I mean, I, there's always an age limit. I know for hip hop and R and B, and then for soca, I. A lot of people say that we haven't reached anywhere, but we've reached further than it was before. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's probably not in the the world circuit of of, of hip hop and R&B countdowns and all that, and some people's made it. But yeah. I feel that we've made a difference. A lot of people now is coming to the islands to play carnival, yes. Yes. and they, they sample music, 
It's just that business wise, we have to know what we're doing. Yes. You know, okay. business yes. Mind. Yeah. Marketing. Yeah. yeah. Marketing is a, a huge part. I, I think I think what played a part is because everybody started to mix with everybody else's genre. Yeah. Yes. And once you started to do the mixing, it had to it had to come over. Yeah, cross, it cross has lines. to. Yeah. And that's that's yeah. why like if it's. You, yeah. If you look into it like that, right? Yeah. How long ago you guys know of reggaeton? Reggaeton. Yeah. Like how many years, right? So that's like. Say. At least twenty years. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But well, that's a mixture of dancehall music and soul music. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Put together. Mm -hmm. And if you look at reggaeton right now, it's actually bigger than it is. Think about it. It's more accepted. Yes. But but as you say, it's 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 a crossover, right? And yes. it's a mixture. Now in soca, they don't want to mix. They want to keep it the yes. original. Yeah. And they say if if we have to get into the world market. They don't want to change it. We have to evolve. No, but I don't think that um, I don't think that they are still doing that. There was a couple of years back where they was actually having those conversations. Yeah. Right. But I think soca music right now has taken a big turn. It has. It, yeah, has. it has. It has. You know, because you 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 also get in the mix of the the um, the house music and the yeah. techno. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. That is mixed with soca right now. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people. If you look at the Bungie Girl in the song, mm -hmm. that was one of the reasons that song take over. Take over because, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now now the locals, like some of the local Trinidadian artists who say, you know, when we bring this music to the people, they're like, you're a sellout. You keep changing the music and this is not how the music is. Like when we interview different people, they will say stuff like that, yeah. you know. Oh. But that will probably not be the ones like who are out but, there. But if, if you think about life, right? Mm -hmm. Now, back in the days, we didn't know about having bathroom and toilet. No, inside our outhouses. Our houses, right? <laughs> we didn't know about old school. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, um, we have to go outside. Yeah. Right? But then it upgrade. Mm -hmm. Right? Things change. Yeah. So, whoever is saying that, they need to move with the time. Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right? You have to move with time. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because if you want to stay one way all the time, well, that's exactly where you're going to stay. That's it. Behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I mean, I know that, you know, because you've been in the industry for so long, I just want to ask, what was one of the most difficult situations that you had to go through? Um, difficult. You know, the one that said, you, you thought to yourself, you know what, I don't even think I want to even do this anymore. Um... There was, uh, as you ask that question, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it popped into this your is, mind. You, you, there was this is going to be juicy. Like, <laughs> why, why I say I just walked in the studio and I just decided to break down everything. There, there was an incident. I'm not going to talk about it. Mm, okay. The incident, right? Yeah. But that incident there made me feel like I don't even want to deal with nobody at all. Mm, wow. Because these days, all I do is come inside there and block the way myself from everybody somebody will be calling me and i just want to hold and i put it on because um my mankind is a serious thing yeah yes it is you know so i try to keep away myself from everybody right now and just stay in my lane mm. do what i love let my kids and their stress their life <laughs> and, just and keep my going on. just yeah. to piggyback yeah. off that, right? Um, I kind of, I can't say like I know exactly what it is you 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 went through, but I know I had a friend recently who or friends who would tell you, okay, you know, um, maybe you're not good at something, so you should try something else, or maybe you shouldn't give people certain opportunities because I don't think that person is good enough or whatever. Yes. I should, and people try to interject their their opinions on you of what you're doing when you know to yourself, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to carry on with this. And sometimes you just have to shut the outside, outside yeah. influence out. Yeah. That's, you know? That's true. It's hard enough having to deal with the insecurities that you yourself yep. have, yep. have for yourself <laughs> than yeah. adding other people to go with that. So I totally understand locking it down. And I, and I also think that COVID was also a part of that. 
because it taught us knock yourself down. It's, not, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. It's all yeah. right. So right now, it's like, okay, I'm thinking about this girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm knocking myself away. That's right. And just keep knocking it down. Yeah, you, you know? have to do that sometimes. And when you hit the, the road running, you hit it and you just keep on going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But sometimes, sometimes they just allow people to say what they feel mm -hmm. and what they think they should say. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they don't like, for instance, they have people who wouldn't even know you. They don't know nothing of you. Mm -hmm. They think they know. They and would go out there and, and like bad talk you, say things about you. Mm -hmm. But if you go back and you respond, mm -hmm. it's like you're giving them the upper hand. I mean, it's like, yeah, how are you? You know, so I just just love it. Mm -hmm. Let it be. Yeah. Such is life. Yeah, yeah. So, so some things go. don't need responses. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just yep. let it go. Let like, it go. If it's if it's something you think that you do need to work on, then you you tackle it that way. Yeah. You know. Like I always tell everybody, I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. Yeah. You know, the, there is room for improvement in my life. No matter how old you get, you're never too old to learn. That's right. You understand right. me? But if I see it and I know that it don't make sense, mm -hmm. that's the other. Love that. It's good. It's always good to know your likes and dislikes, mm -hmm. and then, as you say, you learn. You know, as you as oh. you grow. So, on to positive things. Yeah. You have yeah. a show that's coming up, which yes. is Soka in your <laughs> <laughs> on the fifteenth of August. So, yes. could you shed some light on that? Your artists and so forth. Yes. Um. Well, I was thinking of names, right? And then. I was going to go with it with the K version, right? Mm. But when I think about it, I say, no, the K version is coming to Trinity Pips. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, but when I think about the S version, it's Guinness. Yeah. You know, or Guinness pronouncing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think about it and I say, you know what? This is what I'm going to call it because it's like, I don't want no DJ to come and play anything else. Yeah. All Soka. I want you to give me all Soka. That's what mm. I'm paying for. I want an all soccer show. Show sure. and cast. Yes. From from different islands or just Well, um I have it's like mostly guidance. Okay. You and know, those are the people in your camp. Like I say, now everybody promote their own. Yes. Right? Why shouldn't I try to do the same with mine? Mm -hmm. Whereby we don't we don't really have anything going on where the music is concerned. Mm -hmm. Right. So I see it in, in a way where I could pro, uh, promote my fellow Guyanese artists. Very nice. Not even me being on the show. I'm not on the show at all. Oh, okay. Oh, so you, you, you're not going to say, oh, okay. okay. You know, but I, this is what I, I actually said. Um, I, prom I, I promote younger, younger artists yeah, more you than myself. Earlier. You right. know, I don't focus on me when it comes to music. I love music, right? Mm -hmm. But if I see an artist of talent, mm -hmm. I'm going to push that artist. That's right. right. You know, so the chaos that I have, right, is the chaos who actually have something going on for them right now, mm -hmm. you know, in the Guyanese circle. Okay. You know, so I, I, I use that chaos and promote them, you know, so that at least they could say, well, you know what, somebody at least from there yeah. is showing interest. Sure. Yeah. 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 You understand? Because a lot of promoters do their business. Like, like Guyanese promoters, and don't even think about you know what. It's okay to book a um a Marshall, a Patrice Roberts, but you have your own. Mm -hmm. If you don't love us, nobody else. Exactly. Will. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. It's your charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. That's it. You yeah. understand me? But even for our DJs, it's like artists from like, like the Guyanese artists and them. They have good music. It's not like you don't. But at the same time. If our Guyanese DJs are not playing the music, do I expect a Trinidadian to play it? To play it, exactly. Or a right. to play it? The, right. We had something like that with the, the Vincentians and Trinidadians, yes. where Vinci people would come to Trinidad parties and they're like, why don't you play Vinci music? But then when the Vinci DJ is playing, play you're like, music. you're not, yeah, you're not sometimes they either. would, yeah. but not all the time because yeah. there's some Vinci they music that Trini. I haven't, yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. heard, you know? Yeah, so that, that is my biggest issue. You know, so every chance I get, I always try to promote my own. Oh, that's right. 
I, I have worked and I'm still working with everyone. But I like to promote my own yeah, because oh. I want to see we make it some way or the other. Yeah, yeah. Especially true. when it comes to West Indian music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I like promoting my own. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who, whoever want to knock me for that, that is up to them. Yeah. But that's how I see it. Yeah. I've worked with like so much Trini artists, Grenadian artists, you know, Vinci artists. Mm-hmm. You know, but right now I want to see some kind of light shining on the guy. Yeah. Because all, all of these other islands have something going on for them. Mm-hmm. But we as guys we don't really have any, anything going on for us. Well I've heard I've heard some of the artists. I mean it's good that you have it's kinda of like multicultural. Mm-hmm. Um that you hear so many different brands so you can put that into your production. Yeah. But there's one that I heard, um but they are I think sang straight out of Guyana, which is Please. nice when oh, you Bedia yeah. Bedia, and, um, yeah. Murphy. <laughs> Okay. Mafia He's and Betty are yeah. two very talented kids out mm-hmm. of Guyana. Mm-hmm. You know, the last show I had, I think you had to have done the afternoon. Yes. Show, yes. Right? It was Betty, uh, Mafia, Gadi G, and CJ. Yeah. You know, because they had a little vibes going on with them. So I used that also to an advantage mm-hmm. to bring all the people mm-hmm. to support the Guyanese artists. Okay. Because for some reason, like Guyanese people, I love all yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, if you do anything positive, like I would go and I would sing a wicked love song. Mm-hmm. These people don't want to hear that. They, 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 they want to hear things that don't actually make any sense. And that's going on now yes. because yes. it's yes. like a bump and a it's grind. Not and it's, and it's not going in there now. Yeah, it's all over. Yeah, it's all over. You know, that bomb is your power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> jump on that. I'm not dissing on this song, okay? <laughs> but just to show yeah. you how the world changed. Yeah, it has. The yeah. lyrical content is yes. not, yeah. you know, it's not up to standard the way how it used to be like 20 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Like, for instance, you would actually sing a song and tell a woman something nice and sweet. She want to hear that. She want to hear front man in you. Yeah. Oh, like, 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 I'm going low, low, low. 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 Yeah. That's how the world changed right now. Yeah. So if you're not doing that, you're not doing nothing. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But those guys are very, very talented, man. Yeah. You know, I got to say big respect to them also. Yeah, because yeah. I listen to Ben, and Ben is nice. Yes. With Adrian, Adrian Dutchin. Adrian Dutchin, Jobo, yeah. Gadi, and um, You're on Gucci it, Boss. Gachi. Yeah, Gucci Boss, yes. Gadi G, and... Kappa yes. Shanti. They, yeah, yeah, yes, Kappa Shanti. They yeah. actually have something going on for them right now. You know, whereby they're being like hooked all over. Mm, wow. You know, so I am proud of them likewise. Yeah. You know, because Adrian Dutchin was like out there for yeah. the longest yeah. one. Yeah. You know, and this is a actually very, very good Kappa. You know, and with, with the team going out there and representing and showcasing that they are have something to offer. Mm-hmm. I am very proud of that. Yeah. Have to be yeah. proud. That is very nice. Make me feel like something is happening. Yeah. You know, so, congrats to them, guys. That's very yeah, good. It's going to be a nice event. Yes. It's going to be very nice. I don't nice. know if you listen to the, um, the song, uh, Bouncy. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you about that. What influenced that? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what should we ask? <laughs> well, let me see, right? Yeah. Um, Freedom Boss is known for having some of the biggest guy in his party in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Or anyway, he, he do his own promotion. Yeah. Right? He's known for that. And he was doing an all-white party. And for some reason, I went out that night. You know, because I, I, I also so, uh, support him. Mm-hmm. You know, so I went to the party. And I heard him on stage, right? But when I heard him sing the song, I'm, l- I'm also looking not at him, yeah. but I'm looking at the audience. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? And how they're responding to what yeah. he's right, saying. Right. So the next day I call him, I say, yo, <laughs> I need to record that song. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Pojo, tired, can't do it. Uh, well, I would expect that too. So you know, so because, so it wasn't released, or you, you wanted to sing it, or it was a, a remix. No, I wanted him to record it. Okay. It, it wasn't recorded. Oh, so he just sang it, but it wasn't. Oh. Yes. Okay, got it. And he had a, he he was like doing it on the, the different rhythms, and you know stuff, mm-hmm. right? 
and like about a day, like about two days after, I say, Koji, I'm ready now. I say, all right. I say, what track should I use? Then I remember, I think in 2012, this guy had given me a track for um, a jala to do a song. So I say, you know what? I'm going to use this track. Record the song. Give freedom the, a demo. I say, well, this is for you. Yeah. Listen it, see if you want to make any changes. Yeah. You know? Next thing I'm seeing is videos <laughs> from there, there. What? All over. Uh -huh. Like freedom sending me video, other people sending me video. Uh -huh. You know? And from that moment there, I say, you know what? That is the song. That's the song. That's the song. You don't go in a party right now. And the ladies is not bubbling. Yeah. 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 You know you've made it when they start yep. doing that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And for the last like um month and a half or two months, mm -hmm. it was actually booked out every week. Oh, wow. Performing that song. You know, so that's how you want it to for go. Me, yeah. I feel good to know that. You were a part of it. I was a part of that. Yeah. You know, something great. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in life, everything is not about money or other things. Yeah. True. You yeah. know, but 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 just to see that you could put a smile on some people's face, you know, it's a you very do. very good thing. Yeah, it's a very very good thing. And to see when he go out here and when he perform that song, you know, it's growth. Yeah, you know, it just keeps him getting better and better. Nice. You know, so freedom, big up yourself. <laughs> so to end on a good note, um, the well, time we, went we by super fast. I know, <laughs> I know. So and to end on a positive, reinforcing Bye. the youths, as you're saying, yes. right? Um, what advice would you give to the up and coming youths, even even people who are struggling right now? Because I spoke to an artist recently, who was saying that he's produced so much music and he's done so much that he feels like you know people are not paying attention to him not that he's not good he's good at what he does he sings well Trinidadian artist yes. but people are telling him you're good and that's why people don't want to let you in because you're going to basically take the ones who are so I want to know what advice do you give to, to anyone out there as far as getting their, their music out there um, doing it the right way so people can steal your music if you give them an idea, anything mm -hmm. you want to um, project. One thing I always work with, 75% attitude, 25% talent. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for, say for instance, like the person that you just speak of, mm -hmm. way, right? Nobody can pick it up. God is boss. Yes. Mm -hmm. Face and right? Yeah. I've been doing music for years. But for me, like when I went back to Vienna, you know, I made an impact there. Yeah. Right? But if God say, you know what? Put me to see that song there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the song. When God say yes, hey. nobody can say nobody no. Nobody can say no. That's true. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. And if he is so talented, yeah. and if he have all of this good music, there is no other promotion like social media. Yes. Right? Nobody cannot stop you. Mm, that's right. That's right. Okay? Nobody can stop you because first and foremost, you do all of your artwork. Yeah. You do your video. Once your music is good, yeah. the people is what's important. Yeah. Not these people who have the labels and all these things. Yeah. Right. The people who's looking in on the outside, they are the ones to see this is a hit. Yeah. You understand? Like music also, you have to have like sometimes funds, money yeah. to actually make it. Mm -hmm. You know, because music takes a lot. It takes a lot. A lot of people feel well, you know, you just go in the studio, you do whatever. No. It takes a lot because from the time you have to deal with the producers. Yeah. If you don't write the song, you gotta deal with the writers. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with the engineers. You know, so it takes a lot, you know, so I could say for the youths and them, don't let nobody ever tell you that you can do something. You understand me? If you know if that is what you want, 
get up and get through. That's right. No holding back. Yeah. Yes, amen. So you guys heard it. No holding back. Make sure, make sure you have positive friends behind yep. you who yeah. could, you know, I mean, they have positive reinforcers and then you have friends who would say, you know what, I don't think that's for you, but you can make your choice. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. And um, yeah, because so, sometimes like everybody becomes a yes man, right? Yeah. You know, like I'm inside here. I'm a critic for my own music. Mm -hmm, right. Right. But if somebody come and say, hold you the line you made in no sense. Mm -hmm. I will change it. And if I change it to what they say and I still don't like it, then somebody else say, I will change it again. Yeah. You know, because such is life. Yeah, right, true. Right. You understand? True. You don't yeah. need no yes man around you to say, ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. True, <laughs> true, true, true. And that is not very <laughs> good. And then when you reach a stage now, all you do. You actually don't want that. Yeah. You understand me? Get positive people around. You. Yeah, you have yeah. to get positive people because you could be doing something good. Like I talked to a best friend of mine, well, a friend of mine from um Canada, right? My friend Sally, because she looks at this, she'll hear her name. But she tells me, as raw as it is, you know, she mm -hmm. she, you know, we talk to each other a certain way. And she'll tell me what works for me, what doesn't. And then if I don't agree with it, she has to know. I'm either going to say, well, I think it's good for me. And maybe because you don't like that type of music. Yeah. Or how I wear my hair. She'll say, okay, well, I think you need to straighten it. You don't need to braid it. And I'm like, I'm African. I can braid it if I want. <laughs> you know, that, that type of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. As long as you have positive people, you know, on your side who could give you great advice. Yeah. Whether it be, you probably wouldn't want to hear certain things, but... You could tell for yourself who is for yes. you and who's who is not. not. And then you learn as you go. Yeah. You know, and another way. thing is that, you know, you have to be able to take criticism. Yes. yes. Because yes. you're going to be yes. hearing that the most. People are going to critique you to death. So if you Unless can't they take annoy it, you. Oh, well. <laughs> I actually have a friend. If I send him a song and he don't tell me that song is good. Yeah. Or if he stays silent, yeah. I leave that song. You right know, right. you know, yeah. I, I leave a song. Yeah, right yeah. Right. yeah. Or sometimes I would send him song and he'd be like, but uh, oh, you sing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know? But sometimes he also do it to irritate me too, right? Yeah, you see. But he is very like musical inclined. Right, right. right. You know, so mo mo most time I send him songs. Yeah. And if I get a good feedback, yeah. I say, all right, I'm going to go with it. Yeah. If I don't get no good feedback, I leave it. It's gone. Good. And yeah. that's what Smitty does, because he's like, I'm the Simon of Soka. Like, he would send music or, or ask me, Nicole, listen to this. And if my face don't twitch or I'm not bopping my head or whatever, he's like, oh, gosh, you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I mean... You are who you are. If you yeah. don't like it, it's gonna show. If you hear right. it, mm -hmm. you will feel it. The first yeah, time, yeah. you have to feel yeah. it. If you don't yeah. feel it the first time, it's not gonna. Sometimes, or maybe sometimes songs... hold on to it for a little bit. You no, never no, know. no, no. But hey, hey, what does happen, right? You know, <laughs> I'm just saying. You know how much foolish song out there? Like, I wouldn't say foolish songs, like songs that I did not like. Yeah. But constantly hearing it on the radio, hearing yeah, it on the radio, yeah. and oh then pushing the music. You know, some, yeah. sometimes you go in a party and get so and you want to sit it. Yeah. yeah. Next thing you know, you know the yes. words. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. The music yeah. is like that, man. Yeah. yeah. So, Pojo, let everyone know where they can find you. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, your Instagram, your Facebook, your YouTube, and so forth. Um, one thing I had to ask you, because you do production, if somebody goes on YouTube, is are they looking on the Fojo? What's the name of the camp? So forth. They can look on the Fojo. Right, um, Fojo the artist on Facebook. You can find me, Ian Fojo Corbin, on Instagram is Fojo 31. That's it, Fojo 31. 31. Yes. Okay. Yes. And if you if, if they're looking to reach you in order to do production to work with you, where do they find Ian that? Fojo on Facebook? Okay, okay. yes, they All can right. reach me there. All right, you guys, heard it here on Table Talk. And we uh, really appreciate you, and we just had a wonderful time. 
Thank you so much. nice. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah, we definitely have to come back and do this again. Yes, yes. 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 And, and we'll bring you something other than ice cream. Ice cream. Just <laughs> <laughs> let us know what and um, this ice cream. Next thing you guys so come, I'm gonna have some yeah. other artists here also, you know? Yeah. It's like I told you guys, it's not about me. Right. There, 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 there's a bigger picture for me. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but it was nice you guys having me, you know. You're welcome. Yeah, Thank you. Man. Yeah. Okay, so you heard it. Table talk, table talk, table talk. We'll see you next week. Make sure and hit subscribe, like, and comment. And share. And share. And, share. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have in the description everything and the links. So make sure, click on the, the drop down menu and you'll see everything there that you can read. Um, everything we did today. And Neil, I, Neil's um, sweet and sweet and yes. nice ice cream. I'm sorry, it is not in New York yet. yet, yet, but it will be soon. All right, table talk. Bye. I've never seen nothing like this before. See me dance, we rap the night away. Pay close attention to what she says. She never danced with nobody else. So I must consider myself lucky. I take a look at her. She looks at me and it's been a Sometimes it's rough.
She want to live a belly rose like you, belly rose like you. She want to live a belly rose like you, baby. I don't know, I don't know, no, I don't know. Why don't you live a night so? Her cuts and bruises, that is all she knows. Can't go to where she chooses. Unless he knows Why does she have herself Live and rest well So much she's been through But still ain't going to win It is the night's life When she lay down in the morning My room's school at night The night's life Where she's in paradise The night's life See her dress her and eat her eggs fine tonight's life. Oh, she loves the vibes. She stay at home all day. In the night she made for the kids today. She's been working hard all weekend. And in that day, I can see she loves like that way. She leaving before, but now she's back there. See, right now she can't do better. So she's taking licks with her. It is the night's life. When she needs me in the morning. Yeah, yeah. You know she loves me. And me love her. Me put all my trust in her. No matter how far. Needing a friend. And the way that I feel now, I guess I'll be with you until the end. Yes, I'm on my way. I declare you free. Come in and I'm in hand. 